Hi, uh, my name is Lady Klotz. I'm going to be the professor for the course in behavioral design. So thanks for clicking on the video to, to learn more about it. Um, the, it's a new class uh, and basically it's going to be about uh, using the science of human behavior to do a even better job with your designs. Um, there's, there's two parts to that. Um, one is kind of learning how this is being done in practice already. Um, there are a lot of companies out there that are building capabilities in behavioral design, and we're gonna hear from those working in those companies, everyone from Ideas42 to the World Bank to Capital One. Um, they're hiring people who are architecture majors and they're hiring people who aren't architecture majors, but um, this is something that we wanna explore and see, see what opportunities might exist and then also learn from the um, the way these these companies are doing the work. Um, so the first half is is very practical. The second objective is is much more broadly relevant. Um, it's just understanding yourself better as a designer, right? So as we learn about the science of, of human behavior and how it applies to design, this is also gonna help you be more um, better understand yourself as a designer, which, which has to help everybody from architecture to engineers um, and, and everything in between. Um, so that's the, that's the overview. I mean, I think there's, I like to highlight the learning outcomes for my course. Um, you're gonna recognize ways that behavioral science can contribute to your designing, uh, design using these insights from behavioral science. So there will be a, a project that allows you time to practice the skills that we're learning. Um, Reflect on the systemic impacts your designs have on issues you care about. Uh, so whether it's climate change, equity, education, um, behavioral design is being used to address all of those things. Um, and then compare the various recipes for behavioral design. So differences in commonalities and, and strengths and weaknesses. Um, there's a number of uh, course activities that will balance. Um, so thinking about behavioral design is one bucket of things. This is gonna include reading, watching, thinking, discussing. Um, also listening to guest speakers uh, um, and diagramming your ideas as we move throughout the semester. Um, so that's the thinking about behavioral design. Then the other half is going to be practicing behavioral design. Uh, this will include a, a project, but also include consultation and, and self-evaluation, right? So you will um, consult with other students on behavioral designs and evaluate uh, and reflect on your own design process. Um, as far as grading, I know that's a concern for most people. I mean, my goal as a professor is if you put in nine to 10 hours of thoughtful, thoughtful time um, on this class per week, uh, that you should get at least a B plus in the course, um, probably higher. So it's, uh, you know, I, I recognize the importance of assigning grades and I wanna have them to ensure that you're, um, you're getting feedback on your, your performance, but I, I also want there to be um, an opportunity for you to take risks, uh, knowing that if you're putting in the effort, the, the results will come. Um, so that's, a, that's an overview of the course. I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions that you have via email. Um, I've, I've had experience teaching online. I always try to flip my classroom um, so where most of the content is delivered online. Um, so we'll be trying some some new activities, but I think uh, I think we're on uh, in a good spot to have an effective learning opportunity through um, through this uh, uh, what will be a an interesting semester. And my hope is that we can take advantage of of some of the unique aspects of this opportunity to to give you a, a learning experience that you might not otherwise have had. So thanks for watching. Um, I look forward to working with those of you who, are, who decide to take the class. And if you have any questions, again, um, don't hesitate to, to let me know.